गुड आफ्टरनून टू वन एंड ऑल प्रेजेंट हियर आई एम प्रियंका शिंदे फ्रॉम मेडिकल इन्फॉर्मेशन मैनेजमेंट शिवाजी यूनिवर्सिटी कोल्हापुर टुडे आई एम हियर टू प्रेजेंट माई टॉपिक विच इज़ प्रेसिशन मेडिसिन एंड ड्रग रीपर्पजिंग फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई वुड लाइक टू एक्सप्लेन अबाउट वॉट इज प्रेसिशन मेडिसिन प्रेसिशन मेडिसिन इज बेसिकली अ कंसेप्ट इवॉल्ड इन द मेडिकल थेरीज एंड इवन इन द हेल्थ केयर सिस्टम वेर वी आर सपोज टू गिव द मेडिसिन बेस्ड ऑन द जेनेटिकल स्ट्रक्चर लाइफ स्टाइल एंड एनवायरमेंट so according to the precision medicine we are supposed to follow all these steps which is first of all if a patient is coming to you you are supposed to take the dna structure and then match it with the databases and then conclude which particular drug is going to help them for the best example of precision medicine i would like to go with the cancer treatment in the cancer we the treatment which we take is chemotherapy basically chemotherapy is not any radiation or something like that it is a combination of drugs many people here are confused regarding chemotherapy they think that chemotherapy is equal into radiation that's why we have side effects but chemotherapy is a combination drug in which more than 10 to 20 drugs are given to a particular patient and due to this 10 to 20 drugs they have equivalent side effects of the drugs too for example my body is different from any other drugs my body is different from any other people and if the 20 drugs are not affecting my body only one drug is affecting but still i am using those 20 drugs that they are going to provide and work on my body and provide a side effects which is basically weight loss or hair loss anything according to that what i want to tell you regarding precision medicine is if they'll study my genetic structure they'll study my lifestyle they'll study my environment and then they'll provide me a tablet or anything regarding to cancer this will reduce my uh, ability of side effects also and even will provide me more efficient uh, like more efficient tablets and all will be more efficient on my body too the next thing which i want to do what i want to tell is drug repurposing we have so many drugs all around present like for the cold also we have two to three examples like if we have fever also we take more than two drugs like paracetamol dolo and anything what i want to tell regarding drug repurposing is we are going to repurpose a single drug for more than two diseases for example if we are taking a particular dr- uh, drug for cold i want that drug to work on headache also and even on your fever too this is the concept of drug repurposing for drug repurposing we are going to use uh, the different pathways we are going to study the pathways of the drug and then we are going to compare it with the databases present in, present in our database and then we are going to decide like the particular drug is going to work on both like cold also fever also and even on your headache also the need of dr- drug repurposing currently is any drug which you are going to evolve which is going to be come into market is going to take 14 to 13 years aram se so for this we are supposed to go through the clinical trials the four phases of clinical trials such as uh, the drug discovery phase and clinical phase and then preclinical and then the post marketing so when we are doing drug repurposing the only thing is we are going to save save time then we are going to save the money also and it is going to be cost effective to each and every patient in the end i would like to say that i really manifest india is going to work on precision medicine as well as drug repurposing thank you